Today I'm going to talk about the body bag that you can find in GibbsCam. You can use it to store and manage your solid bodies, your surfaces, and your facet bodies in times that you want to hide them, or even when you're modeling you can use the body bag in tandem with uh, things like booleans. All right, so notice how I have all my fixtures here. I have some custom stock, some tool holders, and in the end I'm programming a part, but when I turn off the simulation, you can see that I only have my part on screen, and that's because the rest of them are in the body bag, because I don't really need them in front of me right now. So you can find the body bag up here in the toolbar, and when I open it, you can see a blank page, and this is what you'll see. You'll see just one page, but notice I've even made new pages, so I'll show you how to do that. But first, just to send the body into the bag, you can double-click it. You can also double-click it to get it out. You can right-click it and bag it. You can also right-click and bag select it if you want to do multiples at a time. That'll send it in, and as well, there's an unbag and unbag selected in there. You can also drag things out of the body bag. Now, if you do have pages, and a page is really easy to make, you can see I have a stock page, I have a tool holders page, and I have a fixtures page, and you can see all those bodies displayed in there. And if I wanted a new page, I would just right-click here and I can insert the page. I can delete a page that's there and doesn't have bodies in it, and I can rename a page as well. And if I wanted to reorder them, you can just click and drag them around. Now, bodies will remember the page they go to, so initially, if they don't have a page assigned, then they'll just go to whatever page is open. But if you want them on a certain page, then you can definitely drag a body down to one of the tabs to associate it to that page. If I were to unbag all of these, and then I do a control A and I right click and I bag selected, notice all of the fixtures have gone back to the fixture page, but the part is in the part page. And that's the way I want it. Now when it comes to how it's displaying bodies, you can get a lot of bodies in there, obviously. Um, so I've tried to manage this so that you can see it. But if you have a lot and you want to see some details, even if you only have a couple, there is a context menu that you can get by right-clicking up at the top bar here. And one of the things I like to do in here is come in the view. And sometimes I'll just set the view differently, depending on what I'm doing. Depending on the details I'm trying to see, the number of bodies in there, just for a little bit of clarity. Now I mentioned that you can do booleans inside the bag, and what I mean by that is maybe you have a body out here, uh, some overlapping bodies, there's a body inside of a body that you can't access or you have a couple of bodies in here, or one's out of the bag, one's in the bag. When you're doing your solid modeling, you can come in and you can select whatever you want, inside the bag, outside the bag. If I wanted to add those together, or subtract one from the other, then I can easily just double click to send one into the bag, then I can see everything else possibly. Now and just repeat until I, I have access to all the models I want to use, and all the models that I want to click at the same time. So it's a good alternative for things like exploded view. Now, once everything's put into the bag, if you close the bag, then it's protected. If I did a select all, a delete, or anything like that, they are protected in there. And when I open it again, my bodies will be there. And if I ever wanted to redo an operation associated with that solid, I don't have to worry about bringing it out of the bag. Once I double click and open up my process here, it'll pop out. The profiler, of course, activates if you were using that. And if nobody is associated, then nobody will pop out. So I hope this is helpful down the road. If you have any questions about this or anything else, feel free to contact your reseller. And happy programming.